this video gives another application in economics of the optimization process let us see what do we have here the profit maximization of monopolistic firm is to be done here and the monopolistic firm is producing related goods so there are two related goods and if they are related goods their inverse demand functions will be composed of the outputs of both that is the inverse demand function for the first um, good will be dependent upon the output of both uh, or dependent upon the demand of both and again the price of the second commodity would be a function of the demand for both of the goods because they are related goods so in using these inverse demand functions we can calculate the revenues simply by multiplying this with q1 and multiplying that with q2 so this is the cost function and this is the profit function that is r1 r2 plus c and r1 and r2 are the two revenues that we have and we have to calculate their sum where r1 is equal to p1 into q1 and r2 is equal to p2 into q2 so we have explained these two terms that is r1 and r2 and now we can calculate the profit function this would be the revenue one this would be revenue two this would be the cost now we are simplifying these and once we simplify these we get the first order conditions now these are the first order conditions the derivative with respect to q1 that we can write this pi function now as pi 1 because this is the derivative of the pi function with respect to q1 this is the differentiation that you can easily do so this remains a do it yourself and then once if we have these two equations that is equation 1 and 2 they can be solved simultaneously and we have done this here that is q2 and q1 so their values are now evaluated q1 and q2 so again you can pause the video here and do this calculation by uh, remembering the concept of simultaneous equations either by cancelling or equating or by substitution and then we have to calculate the second order conditions uh, condition requirements this is the critical value the couple of it because we have two independent variables so there is a couple of critical values and this is the second order condition which requires the negativity of the first order uh, the second order direct uh, direct partial derivatives and then the product of the two should be greater than the square of the second order cross partial derivatives so this is the calculation that we can easily do pi 1 1 will be the uh, derivative of pi 1 with respect to q1 and then the answer is equal to this which is a negative value pi 1 2 is the derivative of pi 1 with respect to q2 pi 2 1 is the derivative of pi 2 with respect to q1 and pi 2 2 is the derivative of pi 2 with respect to q2 so these calculations are again doable you can pause the video and do this simple calculation of finding a derivative and then pi 1 1 and pi 2 2 are observed and they are observed to be negative so first part of the second order condition is fulfilled and for the second part we use this inequality and by putting these values you find that it is true that there is an inequality and then the maximum exists because this is verified and this is the condition for maximum now we are interested in finding out the maximum profit and for that there is q1 and q2 these are the critical values that we have already found above uh, with the help of first order condition 
and now we are going to put these values in the profit function and we will get the maximized value of the profit so this is the finding this is the result that firm under this monopolistic competition should produce 4.17 and 3.3 units 3.33 units of q1 and q2 respectively and this will allow it to maximize the profit and that maximized level of profit would be this so in this way for the monopolistic firm we are able to find out the critical values that is the uh, out levels of output that would maximize the profit of the monopolistic firm that is producing related goods and it was done by using the second order condition thank you